Okay, hello, hello. We are going to start in a few minutes. We are just waiting for everybody to connect. Let's check that everybody's coming for the class. See, everybody's supposed to be here right now. Oh, there's the first one. Maria, hello, Maria, good evening, how are you? Hello, teacher, fine, and you? I'm just right here, how are you? Tell me, how was your day? You're always like this. <laughs> I'm fine, I see, uh, I saw uh, my father in the morning. Oh, really? And, um, yes, because I have I I stay or have a vacation. Or, oh yeah, it's true. Uh -huh. You told me that you were starting vacation. Okay, how's the painting going? I don't see no painting. Come on. Um, only these walls. Oh, you started already. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, but I don't have a lot of progress. <laughs> okay, so you are taking it easy. You're going to do it at your rhythm, slowly. Uh -huh, yes, slowly because my hand hard, maybe emotion that painting all walls. <laughs> okay, that's nice, that's nice. In the afternoon, I uh, saw so my mother stay in her house and uh, waiting for her because today um, to take, um, le pusieron la vacuna? Okay, she, she got today her vaccine. She got today her vaccine, right? Yes, uh, a vaccine is the first vaccine. And okay, the first doses? And the first doses, and, and only that. And then they took a uh, Uber with my sister and maybe have a ride at 15 minutes or maybe like this. <laughs> Okay, 15 minutes ago you arrived home? Yes. Oh, you're just arriving, my dear. Oh my God. <laughs> but I don't have a homework because yesterday I finished. <laughs> yeah, I, I check it out. I check it out that you finished the platform already, which is and, great. And I feel free. <laughs> you feel free, you feel relaxed, no problem. Uh -huh. And I don't have a word, don't have a homework, and don't have a stress. 
<laughs> I am not stressed. I am not stressed. That's nice. That's actually good. <laughs> I'm gonna need that. Okay, perfect, perfect, excellent. <laughs> That's quite excellent. Okay, and tell me, so what else are you gonna be doing during your vacation? I don't have a plan. Uh, me, I yesterday I don't have anything. I, don't, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have or stay in in apartment. See, um, I saw my mother a little, uh, maybe one hour, and and then did my homework. But uh, tomorrow and Thursday, I don't have a plan. Maybe tell my father because I buy a uh, repuestos. Okay, some parts. Some, some parts of the car uh, because um, I wear it in two weeks. Okay. And um, but I buy it. Uh, and only I the I bought I, I bought um maybe so only that I don't have Just a plan. That. Uh -huh. and oh. um, the time with my father is or my parents is very flexible or flexible. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, flexible. Flexible because my father have a company and has, oh, has a, my father in this case is this look my father owns uh, owns owns uh, a company my father owns a company and I stay in the office and my mother uh, have a house or pupuseria. <laughs> Oh, and, only, really? uh, and only work in the morning and the afternoon is free and me divido. <laughs> okay, I divide, divide my time. I divide my time in my father and my mother, my father in the morning and my mother in the afternoon. <laughs> That's nice. Yes, I like it. So you've been you've been quite busy. <laughs> yes, but uh, I don't live with uh, I I don't live with con ninguno de ellos. No sé. <laughs> yeah, with none of them. With none uh -huh. of them. With none like of it. them. And when I have a time. I prefer uh, divide me and pass time with there. With, with Bob. With Bob and the transition with the translate at apartment. Uh, I don't have, um, maybe, me está costando. <laughs> okay. You say it like this. It has been hard for me. Like this. It has been hard for me. It has been hard for me because all the time I stay alone and don't have my pet and my mother not stay near doesn't doesn't, doesn't, doesn't. Stay, stay near um, but is is a question of tiempo no sé cómo yes. okay very good very good phrase i'll tell you you say it like this uh let me see let me see that i got a new keyboard hold on It's a matter of time. 
like this. It's a matter, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, matter. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. And I feel well. Okay, that's what really matters. What's what, that's what's really important, that you feel okay. Yes, I feel okay. And I prefer the vitamin team with both. <laughs> Uh, that's always good. That's always good. Yes. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Oh, perfect. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. Perfect. Okay, thank you very much, Maria. Excellent. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Okay. Fernando. Hello, Fernando. How are you? <clears throat> Hello, teacher. Fine. Tell me, Fernando, how was your day? What did you do today? Uh, work. A lot of work, as always. As usual. As usual. Yeah. As usual. Uh, uh, I am still working in my other computer. I am. I'm still working. I'm still working in my oh, really? in my work computer. Oh, the car, yeah. right? It's car. Yeah, it's car. Okay. It's that time of the month. It has a moment in the mess, right? Yeah, but I'm happy because yeah. I I will finish. <laughs> That's good, cool, that's good. Cool. No, you know what's better is the big box. The good thing is the big box you're getting. The big box. Do you know that expression? No. A lot of money. Lo buena, la big box. <laughs> the big see. box you're getting. Sí. Yeah, sí, yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> And, and Fernando goes like, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, sure, a lot of money, big bucks. Yeah, well, oh, but, you know. but uh, a pesar de? No. Okay. You too. Interesting, no. Even though? Even, even though, okay. Even though, even though my, my work, uh, no, even though uh, the amount of my work, I finish the I finish the module. That's what matters. The module, the module. Motion. Yeah, remember. I mean, it's the practice for you to practice English is very also important because you need to keep on practicing. And we are going to have a few days off. Vamos a tener without class. So you need to really, really, really practice. Okay. okay. Uh, I I take uh, le voy a aprovechar. Okay. I will I will Okay, for long. Just give me a second. Okay. Perfect. Okay, never mind. Not with me, it's just that, man, today we have gotten some news. But it's not uh, related to this. Perfect. To take advantage, aprovechar, take advantage. Okay, I will take advantage these days, of these days. Well, actually, you know, Actually, when we're speaking, we say take advantage. 
vanish. We don't pronounce the T. La T después de la N en este caso no suena. I'll vanish. I will take advantage of these days. Yeah, I uh, mean, you can advance with your work. Yeah, or uh, no. Also, I will I will finish a course that I have in complete in oh. Udemy. Oh, really? That's nice. Well, you know, whatever helps to the big box is good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this course is for uh, for lift of these jobs. <laughs> Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Fernando, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see. Hey, Janita, how are you? What's up? What's everything? Hi, teacher. I'm fighting with my mouse. I, I have two with curl and wireless because I don't know what happened with the wireless. I can connect um, because I don't have mouse. I, and then I need to find a mouse with a cord and connect. Okay, look, I couldn't, I couldn't connect. I couldn't. I couldn't connect. Mm, yeah, 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 the old one, you know, es la vieja confiable, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yes, I have two here, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I got with car. Yeah, I got two right here. You see, I got two mouse here. So uh, nah, nah, nah. I don't believe that. <laughs> oh. Hey, teacher! Congratulations! Oh, by the way, day. I got three. This is another one. I got three. Yes, I have more, but I prefer this because I I like uh, a wireless. Team. Or a short, how do you say tiny, pequeño? Tiny, 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 tiny. Because the big, I don't like it. I prefer this, but I don't know what tiny. happened with this. Well, thank you very much. Today is a nice day. You know, actually right now in my house, uh, well, my wife is a teacher. My sister-in-law is a teacher. Right now, outside of this room, this is my office, outside of this room, there's a big party. Really? Yeah, there's like more than 12 people. And then there. what do you do? What do you do here, teacher? Go to the party. Oh, I'm, I'm just, waiting for I'm you just, here. Look, I'm I am just smelling the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the barbecue. I'm just smelling. Don't worry, teacher. Go to the party and all of us stay here very quietly. Yes. And sure, making sure. A, 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 a class, don't worry, go. <laughs> oh, you know what's even better? At the end of the class, I will go and drop some of them off. <laughs> Al finalizar la clase, yo tengo que ir a dejar algunos a sus casas. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, that's the best part. <laughs> yes, I, I think so. Yeah, you know, there is. There's a barbecue, rice, meat, uh, sausages, and they just finished my gin. They just finished my rum. All rum. people cele celebrate and very happy. And you working at the end, you need to go to yeah. their house. Oh. Yeah, that's, don't you think it's beautiful? <laughs> well, uh, if, That's life. if it's okay for you, it's okay. Uh, no problem, no problem. Actually, I, I mean, the situation is this. I try to be always very, very responsible with my courses. And remember, today we are here because of my accident. So I actually, I owe this time to you guys. And I mean, I am a teacher. For me, this is first. That's second. So, I mean, when it comes to my job, I am, uh, I try, I try to be as responsible as possible. Let's see. Amba, where's Amba? Just let me take something to Amba. Just let me send her a message, please, please, please. 
<laughs> Teacher, look Roxana. Look Roxana. Yeah, Roxana, Roxana is laughing. She's having fun. What happened? She's laughing because I am here and everybody's celebrating. <laughs> no, Janira told me that she has a lot of mouse in, in, in her house. But like yes. this teacher, look at my... <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't believe you. I don't believe you that much. Well, Janita, welcome to the class. Thank oh, you, there's teacher. Ambar. There's Ambar. Hello, Ambar. You Hello, connect. teacher. Oh, perfect. You could connect. That's excellent. Hi, Ambar. Sorry. Come on, guys. No problem. No problem. Come on, guys. I would love to see you all of you today. Me encantaría verlos este día. Remember, it's our last class, and I don't know if I'm going to be with you next course. So if you can, open your camera. So tell me, Ambar, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? Well, you know, life, cool, relaxed, just smelling. Uh, because it, it was it's the last day. <laughs> yeah, no, what I, what, what, I, what I was telling Janita, everybody's celebrating right here. I mean, my office is right in front of the patio. In my patio, they have the barbecue. So <laughs> all the smoke of the roast meat comes here. So I am like enjoying that. Wow. Just the smell, just the smell. So how was your day, Amber? Tell me. Well, it was a good day because. Come on, Amber. Just it, was... it was a good day. Come on. <laughs> what's that? Sorry, teacher. I. I I not mm, happy or uh, how do you say sonriente? No sé. Smiling. I I not smiling. Sorry, but a good day in my work, in my house, anything. Okay, at work. At work. And at home. At well, work. And at home. You know something funny? Something very funny? Actually, in my in my everyday life, I am like this. I am serious. That's my this is my regular face all the time. But whenever I'm fishing, I don't know why my face changes. It's just that I enjoy, I enjoy fishing. But mostly that happens when I'm teaching others. When I'm teaching others, I'm smiley and I am very interactive and everything. When I have to deal with little kids, cuando me toca con los chiquitos, I am very serious. <laughs> but with others, I mean, working with you guys, with others, for me is cool. Even if I, you know, sometimes I got students like Roxana that really gets on my nerves, but she is you know, very have... smiley, smiley. Yeah, yeah, but gets on my nerves. Cuando alguien gets on your nerves, cuando alguien basically gets on your nerve, you mean that that person, you see that person and you get like, oh. <laughs> okay. Yes. So sometimes I get students like Roxana who gets on my nerves. I see, oh, Roxana's here. No. Anyway, you now that's the job. Welcome, Ambar. Thank you very much. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Hey, Walter, how are you? Oh, teacher. Ah, oh, very bad, teacher. I am very bad. Oh. Why? I had a favorite, I had a favorite, uh, a seat. Oh, oh man. I don't know, I don't know. No sé, I don't know, because, uh, I watch because, uh, porque estoy así. <laughs> you don't know why, but, yeah, you, okay. 
you say it like this. This is an expression, <laughs> another thing. When you say, I am down, or I feel down, I feel, or you can say, I feel, you can also say like this. When you say, I, I feel blue. If you say, I am down, or I feel blue, that means you feel sad feel or stressed. Blue. Okay. Yes, yes, oh. teacher. Uh, uh, para, para colaborar, para collaboration in my computer. <laughs> okay. You say it like this. Okay. Se dice de esta manera, look. Okay. Oh, oh, just give me a second. Because, you know, it's for me it's slow right now. On top of everything. Okay, on top of everything. On top of everything, my computer. On top of everything, my computer. You say is acting out. Cuando la computadora le agarra raro, decimos nosotros, is acting out. Okay, is acting now. My computer is acting out. And you see well, my, 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 my phone. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, and I understand. Difficult you. of the, yes, it's a difficult day. Uh, uh, yeah. And the, and the thing is the, the Mondra fight. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I, well, you know, I totally, I got you, my friend. I got you. When I say I got I you, it's informal. Cuando yo le digo a usted, I got you, it's very informal for saying, lo entiendo, lo comprendo. You know, okay. in my previous class, in my class anterior, uh, yes. five, my camera started going off and on, off and on. <laughs> oh. Man, I was yes. stressed. <laughs> I was very, very stressed. Okay, well, thank you, Walter, and welcome to the class. Okay, welcome, teacher. Let's see who else is around. Rita, hello, Rita, how are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. How's everything? How was your day, Rita? Um, eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, what, how do you say revivir? <laughs> revivir. The stressful day tomorrow, uh, uh, tomorrow, no, um, yesterday. yesterday. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay, you say it like this. I came back to life. I came, I came back to life. Oh, really? Yesterday, stressful. So yesterday was, stress, was terrible for you. Oh, yeah. But today is relaxed. Uh, in, intentar <laughs> ese intento. I try. I. I try. I, I try. try. I try. Okay, 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 guys. Well, welcome to the class, Rita, and relax. We are going to have fun. Thanks. Okay, guys. Good evening. Good evening, Edward. Let's see, let's see, who's next, who's next? Hey, Francisco, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Uh, Finally, you home. You're always no. working, my friend. No, teacher, I, at nine o'clock, I'm going to, to my, my, work, my work. Okay, how are we gonna <laughs> do with the, with, the, with the survey? ¿Cómo le vamos a hacer con la encuesta? Uh, and in, in the way teacher <laughs> okay but remember remember something that is very important is this at the end of the of the survey recuerdense que al final de la encuesta perdón lo voy a decir en español ustedes le van a tomar una captura de pantalla y a la captura de pantalla abajito me le agregan el nombre es un proceso que han hecho verdad yo creo que con ustedes no voy a tener mucho problema pero igual tengo que hacer el recordatorio no crea, teacher, no crea. 
No, please, please, do not make mistakes on that. No, no se equivoquemos en eso. Right now, we don't have a, we don't have extra opportunities. We have to or we have to. Hoy nos toca o nos toca o nos toca. Okay, just let's see. Well, let's continue. So, Francisco, tell me, at nine you are going to go to work. What's your schedule tonight? You start working at what, 10 or 11? Uh, tengo class teacher. <clears throat> from from uh, 10 to, when do you finish working? 10 to 6, 6 a.m. From 10 to 6 a.m., wow. Mm -hmm. That's terrible, man. Today is the, the last chip. Tomorrow okay. I am uh, going to uh, my day off. Oh, really? That's nice. Tomorrow I, in, in Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, I will come back to my job uh, Friday in the morning. On Friday morning. Mm -hmm. At That's 6 nice. 6 a.m. The uh, nice. 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. From 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's that's also hard. <laughs> Tampoco está fácil. Uh, teacher, uh, how do you say uh, acostumbrado? I am. I I am used to it. I am used to it like this. Yes. Okay. I am used to it. Well, thank you very much and thank you for being in the class. Okay, teacher. It, my friend. Okay, guys. Before we continue, I need to get the attendance. So let me see. Attendance for today. Amber Elia Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Right here. Uh, Andrea Beatriz Ramiro Subrián. Absent. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Thank you. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Fausto Antonio Landa Verde. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Martin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Here. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Uchoa. Here. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Somewhere, very linda. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Marta. Marta Patricia Díaz. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Thank you, Roxana Ibet de Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Andaño Pineda. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Morillo. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's continue. I'm talking to everybody tonight. So let's see. Roxana, hello, how are you? Very happy, I can see. Uh, hi, teacher, how are you? I'm fine. Thank I you. am fine, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, you're having fun. Sorry? So how was, you're having fun, so tell me, how was your day, Roxana? It was very busy. I had okay. a lot of, to, uh, a lot of things to do. 
Okay. I have many things to do. I have many things to do. And mm, that's it. I was working all day. Okay. What time did you finish working? Mm, I finished it 5 p.m. I think. I don't know. Then I um, pedí, pedí comida, ¿cómo sería? I ask delivery? No. no. I order. I order uh, delivery. So I, I, order, I order deliver. I actually I order for delivery. Oh, for. okay. I order uh, Domino's pizza and I take I took I my dinner with my family. Okay. And nice. then I had a little rest. Okay. You took and, a nap? Yeah. And now here. Now here, like cool, no problem. Okay. Mm, as the matter, come on, as the matter as a ma of as, as a matter of fact, my head and my stomach is killing me, but I right. try to forget it. Yeah. Okay. Why do you feel like that? What's wrong? What's the problem? I have a headache, and in the uh, in the whole day, I didn't take a uh, full, so I didn't. Um, ¿Cómo sería? No tomé o no hice el desayuno. I didn't have breakfast. Uh, I didn't breakfast. No. I didn't have. I didn't, I didn't have, have breakfast. breakfast and I didn't have lunch because I I was um, very tired and busy. But in my oh, dinner, okay. I yeah, I have I had a lot of food. Oh, that's nice. Cool. So that's maybe so I am happy for this. Because you just have food. Yeah. <laughs> that, well, that's actually a good reason to be happy for and to eat. That's nice. Thank you, Roxana, and welcome. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Wilfredo, how are you? How are you, teacher? I am just great. What about you, my friend? A little tired, but ready to, to receive all indication. Okay, tell me, why are you tired? What's wrong? A difficult day? I, I just finished a meeting in the church. At church? Yeah, at church. Um, it it start to 6 p.m. and I okay. just been and okay it started it started it started okay but I'm here ready to learn okay that's good that's good today it's going to be Mostly practicing. Today's it's goal good, is to know. practice, to practice the speaking. That's what I want you to do today. Focus on it's the good. speaking. If you okay. if you can give give us some tips to to improve our speaking, it is going oh. to be. We will. Very we will. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We will. Because sometimes, uh, la lengua it's se trabaja. Yeah, that's normal. That's normal. But Don't worry. It is interesting when, when we can learn to prom I, uh, when when we when we improve our, our pronunciation. Actually, is, that happens. That happens to all of us, you know. When that we sometimes get like confused or like sometimes uh, we stutter a little bit. That's normal. It's a different language, so don't worry about it. Yeah. But don't worry, you. All of you are doing great right now. This is basic five. You are doing great. Actually, some of you, some of you are 
actually in a level a little bit higher than what we are taking. Algunos de ustedes los tengo realmente en un nivel más alto del que están tomando. And actually, uh, something that perhaps you have not noticed, I que quizás no han notado, is that, um, well, most probably you have not noticed is this. Uh, the level in which I am speaking to you is not a basic level of English. I am not talking to you in a basic level of English. I am talking to you in my regular level of English. Yeah. Okay. And because I want to push you guys, I'm using my normal level of English because that's the way I speak. I actually speak this way in English. The only difference perhaps is that la única diferencia quizás es, is this, you will notice. The only difference is perhaps that whenever I'm speaking in English with somebody who already speaks English, I tend to speak a little bit faster. La única diferencia es que cuando hablo con alguien que habla el inglés, quizás hablo un poquito más rápido. Like this. So I tend to be like speaking faster and listening to the person and communicating in a faster way. But that's actually, that's the only difference. Besides that, the level, the vocabulary, and everything is the same. Aparte de la velocidad, el vocabulario que uso con ustedes is the same that I use with uh, advanced students. So I've been pushing you, and actually you are reacting pretty well. I mean, I like that. It's cool. Yeah. Well, Peter, uh, yes. I I felt very good this this course of teaching. Because I, I, I guess that I learned more, and the, the French too. It is, it is, it is important because when we, when I speak with American people, for example, they told me yeah, very, very, very fast. But sometimes yeah. we didn't understand there that they talking hey, that, about. That's yeah. normal. That's normal. Okay. Well, thank but, you very much. Yeah. Thanks, Wilfredo. I appreciate it. Hey, Sylvia, how are you? Hey, teacher. I'm good. How are you? I'm just great. I'm sorry, Sylvia, what, but with you, I'm not holding back anything. So tell me, how was your day? How was everything? What did you do today? <laughs> yes, and today I had a quite different schedule. Okay. Um, why? Because I'm, in a, I'm taking, I am in a training. At oh, work, cool. what is I it have about? signed up. It's like uh, intelligent, emotional intelligence. Okay. That's part how, of my how work. Are, how are you going to apply it to your job? Tell me. Yes, yes. That's um, that's a course to learn how to deal with problems with complicated clients with co-workers because we are all, always uh, in contact with people and I think that is the hardest part of my of my work. I like it but it's sometimes we have to to deal with difficult people, very complicated or angry people and we have to we need to to behave and try to behave our emotion behave, behave. behave. yes. Mm -hmm. We have to behave our emotions. So it's going oh. to help me a lot. It's for four days. Today was my second day and I'm finishing on thir Thursday. Behave, wasn't, yes. Wasn't today your day off? No, I had to work today because uh, I'm taking this training. So I'm going to rest on Saturday. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Yeah, they called me yesterday at night and say, hey, you have to work tomorrow. And I was like, oh, I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, uh, working on Saturdays is usually it's very hard for you, right? Yes, it's very hard for my team because that is, I work as a receptionist and that is four of us. So my, my three co-workers have to work harder because i'm going to be um i will not work on saturday yes okay. but only for this time because it's really important to take this training 
It's very important for me to take this training. Uh -huh. Yes, it's very important for me to take this training. Okay, hold on just a second, guys. Let me see, just let me check something. I just finished the homework in the platform today. Oh, perfect, my dear. Because, <laughs> yeah, I was, I've been checking out, estado revisando, and I got some of you who have not done the final exam. Have not done the final exam yet. And guys, you need to take it today because I need to take these grades today, tonight. Estas notas las pongo ahora. So some of you have not finished the final exam. I got one, two, three, let's see, four. Let me see, four and five. Six, seven, eight of you. So half of the people that I got here tonight do not have the final exam. Okay, do not have the final exam. So guys, please take it. This is very important. Okay, now, now, now. Thank you very much, Sylvia. Nice okay. talking to you as usual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Fausto, hello, Fausto, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? What? <clears throat> I'm sorry. How, how's everything? How are you tonight? Okay. <laughs> how was your day, Fausto? Uh, my day... Uh, I was uh, a heavy, heavy day. A heavy day? Tell me why. What yeah. did you do today? Uh, a lot of work. Uh, uh, enter purchase into the system. Uh, prepare a lot of orders. Uh, and check a lot of products. Uh, only, only. Just that. Okay, well, yeah, you know, that's normal in our workplaces. Sometimes we have days like that and we have to adapt. Thank you very much, Fausto, and welcome to the class. Let's see, Marta. Hello, Marta. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Marta. How's everything? Fine, and you? I am great, thank you. Tell me, what did you do today? Um, I have many words all day. Uh, okay. I am a little tired, but I am ready for your class. Well, that's nice. I don't know why you say that you are tired. Roxana was, Roxana and Janira told me that you do nothing. And Maria says, yes, it's true. I think it's so. I think so. <laughs> Maria <laughs> is very busy eating. Yes. In your Look, at me. Look at me. Look at me. Maria was. In vacation. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. But. Look at me. Vean la acción que hago. Maria was nodding. Nodding. Nodding means to do this with your head. Hacer esto, a sentir con nuestra cabeza para decir sí. That's nodding. Okay? So Maria was like, yeah, it's true, it's true. You see? <laughs> yeah, she was like... Oh no! So, <laughs> hey, you know she, she's a she's a bad girl. She's a bad girl. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, well, welcome to the class, Martha. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hey, Edward, how's everything?
Edward, you here with us? Edward, not here. Well, never mind. Let's see, Carla. Hello, Carla. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? I am good. Okay. And tell me, Carla, how was your day? What did you do today? I had a day very busy. Oh, really? Why? What did you do? I made for a copy. Okay. I attend the customer. Okay, attend the customer. Perfect. So it was a long day for you, Carla? It was a long day for you. Yes, teacher. Okay, well, welcome to the class, Carla. <coughs> Relax, we're Thank going you. to have fun tonight. Okay, hey, Edward, how are you? Fine, teacher, how are you? I am great, thank you. How was your day, Minka? Um, more, more or less. <laughs> I, Why? I, I know I finish uh, um, then and I come for um, Nahuizalco is, um, como se dice, Nahuizalco está de fiesta. Uh, oh, it's uh, a party over there. Um, now is now is yeah, they got the pa party. Patronal party or yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. So, was there traffic or something like that? Um, um, yeah, patron, patron saint festivities. Yeah. So tell me, was there a problem? Was there traffic or something like that for you? Um, usually, usually every day, no, no, the, no, lo normal, the normal. Okay, the usual uh, traffic. The, the problem is for the rain in oh, Los really? Naranjos. Is it raining? Oh, Los Naranjos, yeah, it rains a lot there. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. So you get you get to your house all the way. You have to go through Los Naranjos. Yes, yes. Um, Los oh. Naranjos, uh, San Jose La Majada, Huayua, Salcuatitán, yeah. and Nahuizalco. Mm. Delicious weather right now, I can imagine. Yeah, uh, yes. Um, I appreciate appreciate the view the, the beautiful view. Okay, I enjoy. I enjoy enjoy. I enjoy, I enjoy the, view. It, the view. The view. Yes. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I love it over there. It's so fresh. Uh, in in occasion, um, I feel the. Um, Aroma of coffee? The smell. The smell. The smell. The smell of coffee. Oh, in the yeah, nice. in the morning in San Jose La Majada. When when they are toasted the coffee. Toasting, toasting. Toasted. When they toasted. Are toasted. <laughs> oh. That's nice. You know, you have to be careful with that word because we in English also have the word toast. Toast, toast also means toast also means brindar. Like right? oh. that's to toast. Oh nice. Well, thank you very much, Edward, and welcome. Thank you. Okay, Thanks. guys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's advance a little bit. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I'm sorry. Okay. Let me just get everything in order here. Sorry, I just bumped my hand. It's hurting just a second. Okay, let's do this. Remember, guys, uh, 
remember that today we have our, um, perdón, voy a cambiar al español. Recordemos que esta noche tenemos nosotros nuestra encuesta de satisfacción donde ustedes dicen cosas, solo cosas bonitas sobre mí y el curso, ¿verdad? Es la encuesta en la cual nos, ustedes ya saben, ¿verdad? Es la encuesta normal. Ok. Eh, yo sé que muchos de ustedes ya conocen el proceso y están más que familiarizados con él, pero por favor, eh, les voy a pedir que esperen por mí y vamos a ir paso a paso haciendo las cositas juntos. Ok, just give me a second, solo denme un segundito que este cosa se me lo tenía todo listo y como que le agarró extraño. Just a second, guys. Perfect. It's my computer is acting out. Do you remember the word I gave you today? My computer was acting out. Just give me a second. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now let's see guys, give me just a second. Then solo un segundito because I need to share with you. Necesito compartirles varias cosas. First of all, para comenzar, eh, we at, uh, well, our friends at the English Corporativa, the office, they prepare a short video that I know that you have already seen, but we are going to check it again. Eh, los compañeros de inglés Corporativo de las oficinas han preparado un video para nosotros. Estoy completamente seguro que todos ustedes ya lo vieron, pero lo vamos a ver de nuevo, ¿ok? La idea es que estemos todos en la, en la misma frecuencia. Let me, déjenme que les comparta, I'm sorry. Y vamos de acá. Ok, este lo vemos y lo disfrutamos porque es sencillito.
Okie dokie. Come on, I'm back. I am back. I am back. I am back. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Oops, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why the video from last night was here. Perdón, que el video no se estaba playing. Your video, actually, your class. Okay, guys, now let's see. Do you watch the video? It's clear, no? Yep, okay, now let me see. Just wait, remember, just wait. Now, remember, we have this encuesta de satisfacción, and it says, este proceso se llenará en conjunto con su facilitador durante su última sesión de clase del módulo, por lo que solicitamos de manera especial, no falte. Recuerde que requisito, brrr, esto es importante, punto número dos. Insafor solo aceptará una vez este proceso. Tener cuidado con la información ingresada. Por eso vamos a comenzar temprano. Al terminar de llenar la encuesta, enviar captura de pantalla que comprueba el envío de la encuesta con su nombre completo al chat de WhatsApp de su grupo. Recuérdense, al chat de WhatsApp del grupo. ¿Ok? Ver indicaciones en este video. Recuerde que la encuesta la llenará con su facilitador. ¿Ok? Los datos requeridos para llenar la encuesta serán proporcionados por su facilitador el último día de clase. Aquí lo que está es el video que acabamos de ver. Ustedes recibieron ese mensajito, ¿verdad? Ahora, datos del curso. Esto es muy importante y ustedes lo tienen en su correo. Orden de inicio, nombre del proveedor, eh, inglés corporativo, nombre del curso, fecha de inicio, fecha de finalización. Vean, 24 de mayo. Fecha de finalización, ahora, 22 de junio. Recuérdense que nosotros estamos reponiendo una fecha. Ahora bien, vamos a ver. Solo denme un segundo que les voy a compartir nuevamente ya la encuesta. Todavía espérenme. Me a la encuesta, tengan paciencia. Please. Porque acá igual quiero ser muy, muy, muy específico. Veamos. Y llegamos a lo que es la encuesta de satisfacción. No sé si tienen esto. Ingresa el número completo de la orden de inicio. ¿Se recuerdan ustedes que lo vimos? En ese que les acabo de mencionar está la orden de inicio. Para nuestro caso, si ustedes se recuerdan, quien estamos verificando ahorita en el correo, podemos ver que nuestra orden de inicio es la 2668759300131. Ustedes solamente la van a copiar y pegar del correo que les enviaron. Nombre completo, su nombre completo según está registrado. Esto es muy importante, mire. El nombre completo es según está registrado. ¿Ok? Según los datos que ustedes enviaron cuando llenaron toda la documentación. Correo electrónico. Yo tengo, en mi caso personal, tengo cinco correos. ¿Cuál voy a usar acá? El que utilicé para registrarme con Insafor. El que utilicé a la hora de llenar mi solicitud. Número de celular, el que puse ahí como referencia. Sexo, femenino, masculino, obviamente, departamento de residencia, que cada uno busca su departamento, lo escoge. Municipio, de acuerdo al departamento, ¿verdad? En este caso... En mi caso sería, yo soy, resido, perdón, en mi caso yo resido en, ups, déjame eso, yo resido en San Salvador, municipio de residencia, perdón, yo acá sería San Salvador, acá sería San Martín, nombre del proveedor, en nuestro caso nosotros vamos a poner inglés corporativo, Regal International SRCB, recuérdense, Solamente lo elegimos. Nombre del curso. Nuestro curso, en este caso, es entre comillas. Recuérdense. Nuestro curso le va a aparecer a ustedes. Perdón. Entre comillas. Y les aparece en todas mayúsculas, ¿verdad? Inglés, corporativo y bla, bla, bla. Pero ustedes no se van a tomar la molestia de escribir nada. 
copiar y pegar. Luego valoren los siguientes aspectos, eso ya es personal, la fecha de inicio del curso, ya sabemos que es 24 de mayo, fecha de finalización es 22 de junio del 2021, solamente en este caso lo que hacemos es buscar, ¿sí? En este caso, 24 de mayo, fecha de finalización, la que ya aparece marcadita. El nivel de satisfacción, eso es personal, ¿verdad? Mencionen que otros cursos son de interés, eso es por si sí. hay otra área que nos gustaría mencionar, siempre bueno, ayuda. Comentario, ¿verdad? Aquí usted si tiene algún comentario sobre los cursos que se le han impartido y luego enviar. Ahora bien, cuando usted le dé enviar, cuidado, me le va a dar enviar e inmediatamente, antes de salirse de esa pantalla, usted me le va a tomar una captura de pantalla me le va a poner a esa captura de pantalla en su nombre y me lo envía como un mensaje al grupo de WhatsApp, el grupo en el que estamos todos. ¿Alguna duda con respecto a las instrucciones? Yes, I have a question, teacher. Tell uh, me. In my, in my case, uh, human resource fill the, the date. I don't know what is the email is the uh, number of, of phone. Ok, vaya, pero usted le enviaron un correo. Yes, but... ¿Te acuerdas? Vaya, en ese correo le aparecen sus datos. Ahí le aparecen los datos con los que usted está registrada con nosotros. Ok, let me check. The first time. Sí, el correo que nos han enviado, que nos enviaron sobre esta encuesta. A todos ustedes le enviaron un correo, ¿verdad? ¿Te recuerdas que les estuve preguntando estos días atrás? Ayer nada menos. Yo he hecho, he hecho una pregunta. El nombre Dígame. del curso es, el nombre del curso es Inglés Principiante de Módulo 5. Sí, entre comillas, oh. todo mayúscula. Ah, entre comillas, eso no sabía, gracias. Cuando dice empresa donde trabaja, hay mucho cuidado. Recuérdense que a veces la empresa tiene un nombre, el nombre social, y tiene la razón social. En este caso es la razón social la que ponemos, ¿ok? El nombre con el cual la empresa está registrado. Que obviamente todos conocemos el nombre de nuestra empresa, ¿verdad? Si alguien tiene duda, me consulta en privado y con gusto le ayudo. Teacher, es momento de que llenemos la encuesta entonces. En este momento, por favor, podemos okay. comenzar ya a llenar Gracias. la encuesta. Ahí este, la compañera Flor nos acaba de hacer el favor de ponernos los datos generales en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí tenemos los datos del curso, la orden de inicio, nombre del proveedor, fecha de inicio, fecha de finalización, el nombre completo. ¿Alguna duda? Por favor, si no me la dicen acá, escríbanme, no hay problema, estamos para ayudarnos. Y recuerden que no me le vaya a cerrar a nada mientras no me le haya tomado captura de pantalla. Por favor, porque esa sí es necesaria la captura. Sí que me lo está realizando del teléfono. La orden de inicio es esta. El nombre del curso. también
fecha de inicio, recordemos, 24 de mayo. Y recordemos que nuestra fecha de finalización es ahora. Perfecto, Walter, exactamente así. Excelente, Carla, gracias por enviarme la captura de pantalla. Esa es la manera como debe ser. No se preocupe, tomamos el tiempo necesario, por eso la comenzamos a hacer tempranito para que no nos afecte nuestro desarrollo ni el, nuestro final de curso, ¿ok? So, you got time. Tenemos tiempo. La idea es hacerla bien. ¿Encontró la información, Janina? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Perfect. Roxana, ¿vamos bien? Teacher. Dígame. No es necesario escribir todo en mayúscula, ¿verdad? ¿En dónde? En cualquiera de los espacios donde, donde por ejemplo, está el nombre de mi empresa o, la, o el municipio donde resido. Pues de preferencia sí. Ok. Bye. Bien. Veamos, tengo Ámbar, uh, Rita, ¿cómo tiene la captura de pantalla, Rita? No voy a molestar. A la captura de pantalla usted ahora como que la va a enviar y cuando la vamos a enviar por WhatsApp siempre nos aparece la opción de ponerle texto. Ahí póngame el nombre, por favor.
Amber, perfect. Veamos, tengo Amber, tengo Roxana, Bradley, Yanira, Elvia, Marta Madrinda, Fausto Antonio, perfect, thank you. My dear Silvia. Thank you, Edward. Perdón, chicos, estoy, I am checking on my, on my cell phone right now. Voy revisando cada uno. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. So that means that I am missing four. Cuatro. Teacher, ya lo mandé de nuevo. Thank you, Rita. Perfect. That's correct. Excellent. Muchas gracias. Francisco, thank you. Oh, Francisco, I know that it was hard for you, my friend. Thank you very much. Just two more. Okay, déjenme confirmarles los nombres de quienes tengo acá ya recibidos en el grupo. Son Walter. Carla, Fernando, María, María Alejandra, Rita Cabrero, Ambarelli Alfaro, Roxana, Shanira, Elvia, Marta, Oops. Sorry guys, no sé qué pasó. Eva y Marta, Fausto, Edward, Silvia. Rita, ya la mencioné, Francisco and Carlos. I think that's it. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I'm just missing, estoy esperando por Linda. Okay, les agradezco mucho a todos. Let's continue with our class. Muchas gracias a todos. Solamente me queda pendiente Linda. Continuamos con la clase. Okay, hello, hello, hello. Thank you. Let's see. Silvia. Are you ready? Do you remember that you have a little presentation to perform tonight? Silvia. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. Yes, I think I'm ready. Um, okay, please. Just give me a second, please. No problem, no problem. Just give me a second that my camera is acting out. Don't give me camera. Like this. Perfect. Yes, Silvia. You ready? If not, we can start with somebody else. I'm ready, teacher. Can I okay, share the screen? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. This space okay. is yours. Okay. Okay. Can you see my screen? 
Yes. Okay. Uh, here I have prepared like a presentation about a, a product that I like, and I okay. would like to share it like a uh, recipe. Is that the correct uh, pronunciation, teacher? A receipt. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the correct. Okay. Tell me. Uh, if you love desserts or sweets, today uh, I want to show you to prepare a delicious dessert that it's very easy to prepare. And it, it is not going to take you much time and not much money. Yeah. It's a very creative idea, and the best of that uh, is that you will enjoy a delicious dessert with your family or when you are at home. And the steps to prepare it is you have to just mix. First, you have to uh, grate the coconut. And mix coconut with condensed milk and sugar until smooth. And you have to let it rest for 10 minutes. Shape into balls in the same size using two spoons and rolled through the rest of the grated coconut. Lightly flatten the surface with your fingers. Place the cocadas on a baking sheet lined with wax paper and bake at 180 centimeters for 12 minutes. Degrees, and degrees. Degrees. And finally, remove for an hour and let it rest completely before serving. And now it's going to be ready to enjoy of your cocada. And then I want to share with you the ingredients that you will need. Um, it's very easy, just coconut, sugar, cinnamon, and condensed milk. And the utensils that you need, it's only a bowl, spoons, oven, and a grater. And here I have some like vocabulary that you know, uh, that it must be important for you. And uh, for example, condensed milk is like a cow's milk, which water has been removed. It's not mo most, it is most often found with sugar added. Smooth, when we're talking about a surface, has no roughness, lumps, or holes. And it's this, it's almost the same when we're talking about food. It has no roughness, lumps, or holes. Great, or when we talk in past, grated uh, of food, is like to reduce the small shred by being rubbed on a grater. And wax paper is the paper that has been impregnated with wax to make it uh, waterproof or great grace proof. Used especially in cooking and the wrapping of food stuff. And that is just like um, um, like a um, receta was like a receipt about preparing something delicious when you uh, stay at home and you want to eat some, some delicious food or a dessert uh, when you are at home. I think that is my presentation. Perfect, excellent. Just let me move this. Up. As I told you, my camera is acting now today. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Now just let me check on something. Thank you very much, Sylvia. It was perfect, pristine. Thank you. Now Thank let's you. see. Who's next? And continue. Me, teacher. Okay, let's do it, Rita. Okay, good evening, teacher and classmate. 
Tonight, I'm here to present my product. My product consists in cake delivery with custom, custom made. Um, all, all my product are based, are based in natural things and does not contain chemicals and they are in low calories. The customer has to give all the all the details of how they want their cake like what size what color what flavor and even if they want it with vegan product and for people with diabetes 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 and with that information and decided um the price that it's going to have the cake my prices are between uh, 15 dollars and 30 dollars you just have to call in this number 78 90 65 43 thanks okay perfect Let me see, let me see, where did it go? Just in a second. Perfect. Oh man, this camera is killing me. Thank you very much, Rita. It was perfect. So let's see, Ambar, you ready? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, I, I will show you my product is on an, an a smart radio by Amazon is an Alexa. It's a good product because I can, I can ask anything to Alexa. For example, I, I will give you one example. Uh, Alexa, how is the weather in San Salvador? In San Salvador, El Salvador, hay 21 grados Celsius con cielos nublados. Esta noche se esperan cielos nublados y tormentas eléctricas, con mínimas de 19 grados. Ok, es un ejemplo. En otro ejemplo, Alexa, ¿can you reproduce Linkin Park on Spotify? Linkin Park Radio de Spotify. Well, it's not Linkin Park, it's Audio Slave, whatever. But it's a good product because uh, Alexa uh, provides me information on Google, for example, or uh, it plays music, or it provides me information about the weather in San Salvador on, and other places. <laughs> Alexa, stop. <laughs> Only that teacher. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent, excellent. Very well done. Who's next? Can see it. Guys, hello. Me, teacher. Okay, Edward. Yeah, I need to share the screen, please. No problem. You can do it. Puede hacerlo. Quiero ir eso yo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, I offer you the house of your dreams, a house with an impressive view of Lake Coatepeque. What more can you ask? Carefree, living, inspired design and quality craftsmanship come together at Coa City. The brand new construction, the highest quality materials in the unmatched attention to the tile will make you fall in love from the first glance. This creates a home that is not only beautiful to look, but you also wanted to possess it. Look. The soft breeze in sunlight dance along the edge 
of a small pool surrendered by turquoise water that blend into the enchanting color of the sky in middle summer. It is an elegant and exclusive residential heaven just for you. Coa City is located on Lake Quatepec in a virgin and prestigious place, a couple of islands that float in the middle of the lake complement the beautiful of the place. Coa City is a place now for it is relaxed, numerous and familiar pace of life with a striking curvilinear design and a sleek modern low rise. Coa City captured the essence of what it means to call home. This is life as a show be on the shore of the lake, view of the horizon of the Santa Ana volcano, a quiet environment that invites you to rest, impeccably comfort, all in a house that celebrated the indoor and outdoor lifestyle by the dad, the areas is famous. Finish. Thanks, guys, for your attention. <laughs> Famous, remember. Oops, let's see. Man, this camera is crazy. Okay, let's see. Who's next? Me, teacher. Perfect, Carlos. Excellent. Let's do it. Sorry, teacher. I I compare my screen. I share my, my, my screen, teacher. Wait, give me a second. Arribita, 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 donde le aparece el play, ahí. Hello, guys. Um, I have a question for you. Uh, how do you purify water at home? Um, do you boil the water? Do you destyle it? Or spend a lot of money buying packaged water? Actually, this is the most uh, convenient uh, way to uh, take water um, purify. Right. Uh, why, which, which method is appropriate? Um, for example, when you boil the water, we recommend is uh, you have to boil uh, for to five to 10 minutes um, for uh, boiling the water for to, for, to purify, but you, you, you have to add one minute more for every 300 meters uh, over the sea. And in this case, in, in, in my case, for example, if I, I stayed in Sayapango, the uh, altitude is about uh, is is average altitude is seven hundred uh, meters of over the sea. Um, I over, have to over, over sea over, level, over sea okay, level, over, over sea level. Um, I have to boil. Uh, 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 I have to boil. Perfect. I have to boil water uh, for about um, 12 or, or 30 minutes. But if I move to Huayua, for example, I have to boil the water 
for about um, 14 minutes because the the for you are is for approximately 103 one, 1300 meters above, above the sea level. level yes above the sea level sea level um if i distilling and the water the process is the most uh, difficult and the problem with that is uh you you lost the most uh, uh, minerals on, on the on water, and the other way, uh, you you know uh, the the product you don't know the is the best process. How do you say precedence, teacher? Precedence. Okay, precedence. You don't know uh, the precedence is true. Um, it's, it's, it's good water, for example. Um, but now let me present uh, my solution to purify the water. I recommend uh, this equipment to uh, filter your water. And this uh, equipment uh, offers uh, three ways to filter it. For example, to remove the uh, uh, remove uh, sand, for example, um, for example, um, they you can you can remove dirt and crust and many uh, chemicals go of the water and the in the ultraviolet um, lamp, they have to to use. You you have uh, they they are some. Uh, uh, sorry, teacher. Um, ultraviolet. I often use it to conjunction with wall common filters to provide treatment for bacterial contamination and viruses. Um, that is the, my product teacher and please you learn it now, please. We are set Bitcoin too. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. Thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. Bitcoin is a lot of money, Carlos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a big business. That maybe big business. maybe it's a touches, but Bitcoin <laughs> is a lot of a lot of money. Yes, yes, okay. yes. That, that is value for your money and return your investment, and you and your family will be healthy. I I prefer <laughs> Three dollars for a bottle because <laughs> you to tell me that the cost is Bitcoin. Mm, I disagree with you. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who's next? Who's next? Okay, Matt, this is going pretty well. Me, teacher. Okay, Elvia, perfect. Let's do it. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, placement. The product is green apple, jam with cinnamon and ginger. Okay, what's that again, please? Green apple, jam with cinnamon and ginger. Green apple, mm, interesting. Is a cooking receipt that all, all the properties and benefits of the green apple with a sweet jam flavor, the cinnamon gives it a great touch, making this way to it consume the green apple. It's more pleasant and you can combine it with other products that help improve and balance your diet. 
and clean a culture of healthy eating, but pleasant to the palate. Breaking with the paradigm of the old diet that are usually boring and to answer and to a certain extent, sacrifice and return. This idea is innovative and aligned with the new trends of the world. It's a perfect for preparing a quick breakfast. It can be accompanied by thoughts as a snack or spread in the wheat bread. Mm. Okay, the, it's interesting. The, continue, continue. The product is a green apple jam with cinnamon and ginger called natural apple. This brand can be found in the supermarket such as Super Selectos, Walmart, and Pricemar. Here's the price range between the four dollar for a uh, two hundred sixty gram bottle, or and six dollar for a three hundred fifty bottle. The expiration date range for the for two or six months. Expiration date. Expiration right? day. Okay, okay. It's just that I wasn't clear. Perfect, perfect. Okay, guys, now I want to explain something. With these videos, uh, with this presentation, I am not making a lot of corrections here because of the time. Perdón, voy a explicar esto en español. Con esto no estoy haciendo muchas correcciones acá debido al tiempo, porque son varios. Pero uh, personalmente les voy a estar enviando algunos detallitos porque al finalizar la clase tengo que ver el video ya con calma, enfocarme a cada uno y mandarles las pequeñas observaciones, ¿ok? El día de ayer y el viernes me fue más fácil, teníamos más tiempo, pero ahora son más. Ok, who's next? Is there anyone else? Mi teacher. Perfect, Walter, let's do it. Ok. Uh, 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 good evening, everybody. Uh, my name, uh, my name is Walter Araujo. They are in Champions on Silent Sport. Zero. Uh, I work for the Madrid company, and we we like. And we like to serve it all clients with the best quality of fabric and for more comfort. So you can do you fabric sport. You can feel and use www Madrid sport or on us social network, Facebook, Twitter. Instagram, uh, when, when after my dream, it will be, it will be a pleasure to serve me. Uh, you all come, visit the used or ubication sale room in Department La Paz and the city of Locuilta. How do you say los esperamos, teacher? Well, we are waiting for you. Okay, we are waiting for you, my partners, my teacher. Finish. Okay, perfect, very good. Nice. <laughs> it's a presentation and an invitation, that's cool. Okay, yes. guys, let's see. Is anybody else ready? Alguien más? No, okay. The ones who are missing, los que faltan. Eh, if you didn't have it done, si no lo tenían hecho, I would ask you to do something. 
Le voy a pedir algo. Please, you can send it to me in private on a message, the recording, and I will correct you, okay? Eh, si no lo tenían listo completamente, envíenmelo. Se los corrijo luego. No problem, okay? I am here for you. Now, guys, we are almost done, but let me see. Let me see. I need to check on something. Let me revisar algo. Permítanme solo un segundo, que estoy escribiendo a uno de ustedes, pero oh, it hurts. Ok, let's see. Well, let me make a small review. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso. Let me see. As far as I can tell, well, uh, my observations, guys, mis observaciones. You are doing very good in... In the fact that you are like, I can tell that you are confident, you are relaxed in the class, you speak, even though if you make mistakes, you speak, and that's really important. I will express in this in English and Spanish at the same time. Esto lo voy a estar diciendo en inglés y en español al mismo tiempo. Son mis observaciones del curso. Puedo ver de que ustedes están hablando con mucha confianza, mucha seguridad. Eh, Roxana, please check. Eh, eso me agrada me da a entender a mí de que tenemos el primero de los de los detalles que, en los cuales más nos cuesta trabajar que es la confianza estamos trabajando bien en eso now advices eh, recomendaciones I would like you to keep on practicing guys I need you to keep on practicing mostly Focus on vocabulary. Now, how do we get vocabulary? You got your manuals. ¿Cómo tenemos vocabulario? If it's work related, if it's job related, si se enfoca a nuestras áreas de trabajo, eh, we get vocabulary to the, encontramos vocabulario from the manual, del manual. That's a way to get vocabulary. And thank you. That's a way to get vocabulary. Another one is, um, well, TV, television, music. Now, it's very important something. Please, as I've been telling some of you all through the one-on-one -on -one sessions, right now, at this level, don't focus on memorizing vocabulary. En este momento no se enfoque en memorizar vocabulary. I mean, if you really, really want to learn vocabulary, if you get a new word, if you listen to a new word, if you identify a new word, put it into practice. Practically. Use it in two, three different situations, in three, four different sentences. En tres o cuatro oraciones distintas. Okay? Eso nos va a ayudar, el utilizar el vocabulario. Because that's better. That's, that's the best way to, to really, really memorize a word. Realmente esa es la mejor manera de memorizar vocabulario. Because if you start like just uh, getting words and words and words, the problem is that sometimes uh, you start looking in your mind for the word, but it makes you slower. A veces eso nos vuelve un poquito más lentos. Meanwhile, when you like uh, practice, when you apply the vocabulary, it's different because in that way, your brain is processing in a different way. Okay. Uh, what do I mean with this? When you practice, when you apply, I mean, your mind recognizes processes and it's ready to apply it the next time, la próxima vez que se vea faced with the same situation, your mind is going to answer fast, okay? And right now you are already thinking in English. Y en este momento ya me están pensando en inglés. So, 
What I need you to do is to keep on thinking in English. Lo que necesitamos en este momento es mantenernos eso. Keep on. No. Seguir con ello. Okay. Keep on thinking in English. Keep on practicing. Seguir practicando. Okay. I know that you have done a very, very big effort. Sé que han hecho un esfuerzo grandísimo. Ok, yo sí me seco, estoy reportando algo. Ok. I know that you have done a big effort. Sé que han hecho un gran esfuerzo. Perdón, esto sí lo voy a hacer completamente en español. Sé que han hecho un gran esfuerzo y que para algunos de ustedes en este momento están en básico 5. Quiere decir que llevan 5 meses dedicándole, bueno, más por la pequeña pausa que hacemos, dedicándole más de 2 horas diarias porque realmente le dedicamos un poquito más, trabajando en la plataforma y todo, ¿verdad? Dedicándole más de 2 horas diarias. Sé que para algunos es un poco cansado. Tenemos nuestra vida diaria, tenemos nuestros hogares, nuestra familia y que realmente por momentos sentimos que estoy robando ese tiempo, pero realmente usted está uh, investing, invirtiendo, usted está invirtiendo, invirtiendo en usted y obviamente en nuestra superación personal, es nuestra superación para la familia. A mí no me gusta mucho hacer discursos, pero realmente la idea es esta. Eh, ante todo, la idea es felicitarlos. Han hecho un esfuerzo grande. Personalmente, desde mi punto de vista como, como maestro, el trabajo que han realizado en este curso ha sido grandioso. Porque tengo algunos que me comenzaron hablándome uno o dos minutos cuando yo les preguntaba, How was your day? What did you do today? Y perdonen que suene de esta manera. Eh, algunos de ustedes ya se habrán dado cuenta que a veces me toca detenerlos. Because you get excited and you are speaking. Se me emocionan y hablan mucho y nos pasamos de cinco minutos con la misma persona y tengo mucho que darles la oportunidad. I mean, eh, es importante que reconozcamos. Algunos tenemos mayores oportunidades que otros de practicar. Siempre tiene una gran oportunidad, por ejemplo. Todos lo reconocemos. Ella interactúa más, más regularmente con personas que hablan inglés. You need to take advantage of that, Celia. Necesita aprovechar eso. Los que no tenemos esa oportunidad, tenemos que poner todavía un poquito más de esfuerzo. Lo hemos hecho muy bien. Eh, mis felicitaciones para todos. Algunos los conocí en básico dos o tres, creo, ¿verdad? Algunos de ustedes. Siento mayor seguridad, siento mayor desempeño. Ahora, estamos en el punto más difícil, en el punto en el cual se necesita más compromiso. Ya tienen la confianza para hablar, ya tomamos ritmo, pero en este momento necesitamos un poquito más de compromiso. ¿Por qué? Porque son más de seis meses de estar en esto. Usted dice, algunos de ustedes quizás dicen, no, pero es que yo siento que en lo mismo me sigo equivocando. No se enfoque en lo mismo que se equivoca. Enfóquese en las nuevas cosas que ha ido aprendiendo. Que le va agregando. Somos adultos. Tenemos hogares, trabajo. Un montón de cosas que quieras o no, pues, nos absorben tiempo. They take time. I mean, it's a big effort. Es un gran esfuerzo. Yo sé que algunos se me han conectado a clases enfermos. Con dolor de cabeza. En el, desde el trabajo, llegando del trabajo, en camino al trabajo o de camino a casa, pero aún conectados, escuchando la clase. And I mean, I really appreciate that. Yo realmente lo aprecio. I mean, it means that you really value what you are getting with me. Realmente me da a entender a mí que ustedes valoran lo, lo poco que yo les pueda enseñar. Porque realmente en mi caso, mire, esto no es de que el profesor enseñe, el profesor facilita, yo le doy las herramientas. El conocimiento está ahí. Hoy en día lo tenemos en todos lados. Porque el inglés está en todas partes. El conocimiento está ahí. Yo les doy las herramientas. Les ayudo a que tengan esa confianza. Lo demás 
lo han hecho ustedes. Permítanme ante todos felicitarlos, agradecerles la confianza puesta en the, in the company and in me, of course. Eh, la confianza puesta en la, en la empresa y conmigo, desde luego. I mean, I really appreciate that. Espero encontrarme por ahí de nuevo, ¿verdad? Espero encontrarme por ahí de nuevo en el otro nivel. Con algunos de ustedes toda la oportunidad de trabajar antes. Yo ya había trabajado con Fausto, con Carla, con Walter. Eh, fue bueno encontrármelos nuevamente. Espero volvérmelos a encontrar si me los asigna nuevamente el mismo grupo. Perfect for me. Ok. Perfecto para mí. Solo que mm, lo siento por ustedes. Because I'm going to be pushing more. Porque si es el nivel más alto, voy a presionar más. Ok. More speaking, even more speaking. But I mean, that's what you want, no? That's why you are here. Para eso están aquí, no? Para hablar más. Yes. Thank you very much, guys. Please. Y ahora sí viene el please. Finish the platform. Termíneme la plataforma. The situation is this. Yo no dormiré hasta que tenga esas notas. Ok. So, do it, guys, please. Es, Se va a desvelar. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Please. Hey, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I don't know. Do you have any comments? Si tienen alguna... Queja, comentario, chiste, receta cocina. This is the moment. We just got one minute. Me, teacher. Uh, yes, only, only I, 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 I um, agradecer. Maybe it's congratulations, but I don't know. But, uh, for you, uh, you, for me, it was a pleasure to learning uh, from you. And happy Teacher's Day today for your oh. teacher and and for me it's, it's a pleasure teacher thank you thank you thank you no thanks to you see sí, aquí están todavía están con la celebración Th thank you teacher thank you teacher congratulations uh, teacher is the teacher is um is the better <laughs> thanks thanks walter the best oh. walter the best the best what is the best he's the best okay. thank you teacher no, thanks to you. Thanks to you guys. It was a pleasure. Ha sido todo un placer. And just give me a second. Let me see. Well, thank you very much, guys. It was a pleasure. Have a good night. I hope to Have see you night. next course. Keep on working. Keep on studying. Bye bye. Take care. <laughs> Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Hello, Roxana. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Okay. Tell me, Roxana, how are you doing with your practicing? How? ¿Cómo vamos con, el, con la práctica del inglés? Oh, mal, teacher. <laughs> the last time I was a um, uh, call, tenía un cliente, le tenía que preguntar algo. Jamás, jamás había hablado en inglés y me noqué. <laughs> y solo me dijo, le voy a pasar a alguien que sepa español. Y me pasó a la otra persona, porque sinceramente de mi, de mi trabajo, no, para ser sincera, no había investigado vocabulario muy... Ok, yes, es el vocabulario el problema. Sí, ahí me no, que, sí, generalidad sí le pude hablar, pero cuando ya estaba tratando de algo sumamente específico, ya fue un poquito complicado. Yeah, o sea, yeah. hablé yeah, español. Es técnica, ¿verdad? Es técnica. Remember, sometimes you can circumvalate. A veces podemos circumvalate. Eso quiere decir cuando hay un término que no comprendemos, we explain the term. Explicamos el término. In normal words. But when it's specific to your area, in that case, yes, I will recommend you to get the specific vocabulary. Ahí sí le recomendaría tener el vocabulary specific. Or perhaps the phrases, como ustedes, eh, como dan un support, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando son frases específicas, write those phrases, 
get some post-its, consigas unos post-its y téngalas cerca, en la mano. Como son procesos, normalmente, they are steps, right? Son pasos. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, something that they do at call center is like this. Everybody who's working on a call center, todo el mundo que trabaja en call center, no sé si es el caso de ustedes, tienen su, su lista de pasos. ¿Cómo se va a atender al cliente desde... En algunos call centers tienen desde el saludo, cuáles son los requerimientos básicos que tienen que hacer, los pasos básicos, and you follow them, y se lo sigue. You could, you could do that in English, podría tener eso en inglés. Sí, está dentro de mi lista de cosas por hacer, porque justo en esta, sí creo que el lunes fue eso. And don't be nervous. Dígame, ¿usted le estaba entendiendo a la persona? Sí. O sea, okay. sí. de hecho casi, casi no me dijo nada, pero dentro de lo poco que me dijo, sí, sí le entendí y traté de explicarle, ¿verdad? pero fue eso que... Eran conceptos muy propios y era un poco complicado porque eh, no es, era alguien externo. Entonces el proceso realmente era como explicárselo a alguien que no sabía nada. Era un poco okay. más detallista y ahí fue. Entonces es lo primero que tiene que hacer. Realmente en su área usted debería estar... Tiene que buscar vocabulario así cuando se vaya a preparar para enseñar, para explicar un proceso en inglés. The, the best advice I could give you is this. Prepare as, as if every person you are going to explain to doesn't know anything about your area. Siempre le voy a recomendar esto. Cuando usted vaya a hablar con, cuando usted vaya a prepararse a, para dar una explicación, un, un proceso de esto, un seguimiento. Realmente creo que ustedes lo hacen. Ustedes se enfocan cada cliente como que esa persona no supiera nada. Perdón. Y ustedes, está, ustedes están preparados para atender a la persona como que la persona no sabe nada, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Correcto. Entonces, comience a pensar. Yo les le aseguro algo. Si usted comienza a pensar cómo lo explicaría, los pasos, el orden, eh, le aseguro que la cantidad de palabras que realmente va a buscar van a ser pocas. Porque particularmente en las áreas técnicas, muchos términos ya son en inglés. ¿Right? Uh -huh. Sí. So, perhaps, uh, remember. Acuérdese, eh, todos nosotros cuando vamos a explicar algo, si son áreas técnicas, normalmente estas son en inglés, eh, son, son pasos, ya conocemos los pasos, y no nos enfoquemos en la palabra que no conozco, porque eso, that aspect is the one that sometimes stops. A veces nos trabamos en una palabra que no conocía. Y usted, si se pone a pensar, se va a dar cuenta que muchos de los otros pasos sí los pudo haber explicado en inglés. Pero probablemente lo que le pasó es que en un paso usted dice, como a Salvadorian say, me topé con un paso. Y de ahí ya, ya no pudo darle continuidad. Cuando realmente, si usted, ese paso que no podía decir específicamente, lo hubiese explicado, hubiese explicado el término, Quizás hubiese podido continuar a hacer más larga la conversación. Always focus on that. I mean, mire, cuando se trata de trabajar, uno siempre tiene nota. O sea, créame, mire, I am teaching you. Yo le estoy dando la clase. And I've been teaching English for so many years. He dado clases por tantos años. And believe me, y créame. I always look for words. Siempre busco palabras. Siempre hay términos que o no me acuerdo o no los uso muy a menudo. Uh -huh. A veces es simplemente se me va y a veces es que sí lo recuerdo pero no lo uso a menudo. Entonces me cuesta ubicarlo, cómo, cómo aplicarlo. Because that happens. That's, 
vocabulary. Entonces, ¿qué hago? Yo siempre tengo, siempre estoy listo a buscar el vocabulario. I mean, in one of my jobs, en uno de mis trabajos, the signal is horrible. La señal es terrible. Believe me, I cannot access uh, San Google. No puedo accesar a San Google. Tengo dos diccionarios de este tamaño. Son enciclopédicos. Tengo uno inglés español y uno inglés inglés. Porque a veces hay palabras que solamente las recuerdo en inglés. O sea, quiero explicar la palabra, pero solo la recuerdo en inglés. Busco cuál es la explicación. I mean, no es un problema el que usted tenga ayudas o refuerzos. Es un problema el que deje de usar inglés porque no se acordó de una palabra. What do you need to do? I mean, be confident. Téngase confianza. Okay. I mean, yeah, of course you are learning. Sí, le falta. Obvio. Para eso está estudiando, ¿no? Sí. That's why you're here. Si no le hiciese falta, si usted no estuviese consciente que le hace falta, no estaría acá. You wouldn't be listening to me. Yeah. A veces es un poco complicado porque, por ejemplo, yo le comenté que había estado en, en algunas entrevistas de trabajo, pues porque me quiero cambiar. Y recuerdo que en una de las últimas eh, evaluaciones de inglés son llamadas como de 10 minutos eh, preguntando las generalidades de su vida, eh, su trabajo, etc. Pero dentro de esa llamada, una pregunta fue que cuál era mi mi punto de vista acerca de la realidad estudiantil actual y que cómo podían mejorar eso en todos los aspectos. No sé qué más agregó, pero a veces por eso mismo de desconocer los conceptos muy, muy específicos, se noquea. En esa pregunta yo me bloqueé, hablé generalidad en sobre... esa pregunta uno dice, bueno, desconozco, comple desconozco a profundidad, I, I don't know completely the, the educational reality right now because I am not a student. My son is a little cute. But what I know and what I remember, y ahí es donde usted pone las generalidades. Mire, a la hora de contestar, no es malo decir desconozco el área específica es malo quedarse callado no decir nada cuando no, sí tenía que decir de algo quedarse a medias cuando sí tenía que decir verdad porque sí tenía que decir sí colocando de ejemplo precisamente el, lo que estoy viviendo con mi hijo pero sí era un poco complicado porque era todavía me preguntó que qué podía agregar yo para mejorar la situación. Sí, que le están pidiendo recomendaciones. Ajá. Sí, hasta después, porque eso fue antes de que nos tropiéramos los, los shoot y todo eso, ¿verdad? Hasta después entendí, puede haber aplicado algo de eso. Ok. Pero, ¿qué pasó, Roxana? Si usted se da cuenta, automáticamente ahorita dice, ah, el shoot que había ahí, quiere decir que esa herramienta ya la tiene. Uh -huh. Para la próxima ya la va a usar. Mire, esto de aprender es un proceso. Vamos paso a paso. We go step by step. Y lo que usted tiene que ir haciendo, estos cursos son lo máximo because they are intensive. Estos cursos son intensivos. Y eso es very good. Mire, usted aprende cuando usted habla, cuando me escucha a mí, cuando escucha a sus compañeros. Porque estoy seguro que aún de sus compañeros usted ha agarrado vocabulario, expresiones. Y en muchas ocasiones usted en su mente ha corregido a sus compañeros. ¿Y sabe que cuando hace eso también está aprendiendo? Porque está retroalimentando el conocimiento previo. A mí. Por eso les decía yo, estamos en el punto más difícil. Porque algunos sentimos que ya podemos lo suficiente y otros sentimos que, uy, me está costando mucho. Y ya muy cansado. Este punto es el más difícil. El siguiente, la siguiente etapa igual de difícil es cuando pasamos de intermedios avanzados. Cuando pasan de intermedios avanzados, me sucede que hay algunos que dicen, no, I can speak English already. I don't need it no more. Y siempre nos falta. Mire, 
Yo me gradué hace 20 años. I am learning English. I'm still learning. It's a freaking language. It's a language. If you get, if you sit down and start reading in Spanish, usted se siente con esa lengua español va a aprender español palabras nuevas. Mm -hmm. Manera de expresar ideas. It's the same with English. I mean, I read English every day. I study. I practice because I know that I need to learn. I am learning English. So. Don't feel bad if you did wrong. No se sienta mal si hizo algo mal. Si se equivocó en algo. You know what you gotta do? Ok, lo que está haciendo en este momento. Retroalimentarse usted mismo. Decir, ok, aquí la regué. Ya tengo esta otra herramienta. Para la próxima la voy a usar. Ya sé cómo. Pero no se sienta mal por los errores que he cometido. Hombre, o sea. Aún así, con... Siendo consciente de lo que me falta por aprender, yo me debo de sentir mal si, si en una entrevista me quedo callado. Because I mean, I know the vocabulary. I know the area. Y si no conozco el área específica, a this in English, I need to explain why I cannot answer. That's me. I've been speaking English for more than 20 years. Yo lo vengo hablando desde hace más de 20 años. But you're studying. It's okay if you make mistakes. También si se equivoca. It's normal. It's acceptable. What is not acceptable is to stop right now. Detenerse en este momento. That is not acceptable. ¿Cuánto tiempo le sacrificó ya? ¿Cuánto tiempo está atendió su casa? O sea, ahorita usted está terminando echándole el ojo a la costilla y al niño, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde están que se han hecho? Está haciendo un sacrificio. No solo usted, su familia también. Make it worth it. Hagamos que valga la pena. ¿Cómo? Continuando. So, relax. I mean, we make mistakes. A veces metemos la pata. That's normal. That happens to everyone. Eso nos pasa a todos. So, take a deep breath. Relax. Tiene una semana y media para relajarse. Respire. Y comenzamos de nuevo. A meterlo. Cuando menos sienta, I mean... Well, if you feel it, you're going to be speaking like me all the time or better than me. Créanme, puede hablar de lo que me. A mí, te voy a poner un ejemplo. Tuve un alumno hace 20 años, tuve un alumno, me recuerdo, fueron mis primeras clases. Era un chico que le costaba un poco, pero le ponía interés. Eh, cinco años después me lo encontré con mi compañero de trabajo. Eh, tipo de clases en una universidad en inglés ¿qué hizo? Okay. Eh, hace poco at the gym, en el gimnasio I was making exercise and there's a lady that always talks to me and my wife, hay una chica que siempre me habla a mí y a mi esposa and she asked me, you don't remember me, right? Me preguntó, ¿usted no se acuerda mío? I was like, well, I see you here. Tengo dos años de verla acá at the gym, ¿no? I know that she's an English teacher. Sé que es una profesora inglés. And she tells me, you told me in 2003. Usted me dio clases en el 2003. And I was like, really? Wow, I mean, ¿pero qué pasó? Le sigo metiendo. A mí. Pasa. Do your best. Ponga el empeño, ya sacrificó bastante, que valga la pena. No valdrá la pena si usted me deja los cursos a medio camino. Insafort le está dando una gran oportunidad. Sí, ya sé. Pero no pelle. ¿Cuánto cuesta un curso? Eh? Uy, cuando claro. yo estudié en algún momento, me costaba como 40 dólares en Adon Bosco, algo así. O sea. They are, they are higher está... now. Hoy están más caritos. ¿Cuánto nos cuesta? Y hablamos de cursos regulares, no cursos intensivos. Sí, correcto. No cursos de dos horas diarias. En esa forma está esa oportunidad. Hagamos que valga la pena. Próximo. Ok. Give me a second. Well, Roxana, it's been a pleasure to be with you guys. Take care. Un placer, un gusto. No, thanks to you. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.